Welcome everyone. So the, the problem that we have here today is about uh, chemical thermodynamics and the question is to estimate the second and third real coefficients using the van der Waals equation. So before starting with the solution, let's gain some basic understanding uh, on different uh, equations of state. The two different equations of state that we are concerned about uh, are the virial equations of state and the van der Waals equation of state. The first, uh, the virial equation of state is uh, useful for calculating the chemical properties in the gas phase, which can be derived from the mechanics and is given by infinite series in the molar volume, which is uh, denoted uh, by a V with an overline. So the virial equation of state, as I said, is uh, a sum of a infinite sequence where G is the compressibility factor and that is going to be equal to, to this infinite series where B and C are the second and the third virial coefficients the thing that we want, want to estimate using the van der Waals equation of state so this infinite uh, series can be rearranged and can be returned as, the, as uh, something like this which is going to be our equation 1 the second equation of state that we are concerned about is the uh, van der Waals equation of state which is uh, in fact a cubic equation of state and that is particularly useful for describing both liquid and vapor phases then the equation is something like this where the V with an overline is the molar volume and A and B are the van der Waals equation are the van der Waals equations constants so let's start uh, with the solution now the two equations that we have here until now are these two equations. The first one we obtained from the Virial equation of state and the second one, one which we obtained from the Van der Waal equation of state. As we can see, the first one is expressed as a sum of power series and the second one does not have such power series. So now what we have to do is we have to find a way to convert this equation to sum of power series. So for that what we can do is we can multiply and divide by the molar volume in the denominator part of this equation. So it goes as follows. Multiplying and dividing by the molar volume. And we can further simplify this uh, as Now what we know from a basic calculus course is that we can express a function as a sum of power series. For example, let us take a function like this 1 by 1 minus x. It can be expressed as a sum of power series as follows. Now we have a similar condition over here. Instead of x, we have b divided by v with an overline. So let's assume for a while that our x is going to be b by v. So we can express our equation as uh, 1 plus b by v plus b square by v square plus b by v cube which goes until infinity plugging this part back into the equation what we can get is sorry I missed the cube part over there Now what we can do is we can multiply and divide by RT in this part so that we can take a common as RT by you know, V.
now we can factor out uh, this part 1 by v from here and here and what we are left out with is uh, this Now what we have done here is we have converted a van, the van der Waal equation into an infinite series. So what we have now here is the van der Waals equation expressed in terms of the power series. Before we had the van der Waals equation with only two terms, but what we did was we did some basic uh, calculus calculations and then converted the two term the van der Waal equation into, uh, into a sum of the power series. Now comparing the first equation, which is the virial, virial equation of a state, with the third equation, which is the modified van der Waals equation, what we can get is that uh, the, this b, the second virial coefficient, is going to be equal to b minus a by rt. b, the second virial coefficient, is going to be equal to b minus a by rt, where b and a are the van der Waal constants. And the c, which is the third virial coefficient, is now going to be equal to b squared, where b is the van der Waal constant. So this is the required result.